Hey everybody, what's going on? It's me, No Arrows. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing Starve from Image Comics. It's by Brian Wood and Daniel Zazel. I'm guessing these J's are going to be Y sounds. But uh, yeah, it's about this guy who's a celebrity chef. He's been kind of living in... He's coming out of like a self, uh, self-imposed self exile... I was going to say a self-exposed empire, but, uh, nah, he's, it's kind of like a spider Jerusalem in Transmetropolitan, he's kind of like been living outside of society for a while, and now he's coming back, and, uh, he's, the reason he's, he's returning is to do eight more episodes of this show he created called Starve, and, uh, I guess, like, when he started the show, it was kind of like a, you know, a food slash travel thing. Uh, but since he's been gone, it's it's kind of um, changed into this Iron Chef type show, except much more extreme. Like it's kind of a gladiator type situation, and uh, like many uh, animals have been are, like, endangered now, or, like, near extinction, and the show is kind of, uh, catering to a, a rich crowd that can afford, you know, to eat these rare animals, and, uh, he wants to take back his show, basically, and, um, like, his wife is, his ex-wife who hates him, she's, like, she's running the show now, and, like, his, his biggest rival is the host of the show and everything, and, and it, it's, it's pretty interesting, like, there's, I, I haven't, like, one of the main reasons I was drawn to this comic is the premise, like, it's just something that kind of, it, it kind of sold me, and, uh, reading it, it's, it's, uh, it's good, like the uh, writing, but I, I feel like it might not completely deliver up to the promise of the idea. Like, something about it just doesn't work. Like, I, I like the main character. He's, uh, he's, he's a pretty interesting character. He's just like this, he's like this really strung out, like, shaggy-haired guy, and He's sort of a... He's visually interesting, and, like, his personality is interesting. And, uh, his daughter's in the mix, too, and she's she's plenty likable. I, I think his... Um... And, like, his wife as a villain is kind of, like, tolerable. I, I feel like... I guess the main problem with it is that, like... Strangely, it said, I, I kind of feel like I need something else. Like, I feel like I need a... a like, it, it seems like every issue kind of just plays out the same. Like, he... He shows up at... At the set of Starve, and he participates in the competition, and then he, like, pulls something out to win it, you know? And... Like, you have this, like, sort of dystopian setting and like this these this like creepy art style with this very like dark and shadowy art style and like it feels like there should just be a little bit more going on than just like these these cooking competitions not that I dislike that I mean it's I mean I think they're well done I just kind of feel like it doesn't sell me on, like, the behind-the-scenes stuff, you know, it doesn't... I don't get the same level of intrigue that I, that I might like with it, and that you'd think you'd get with the, with the, the setting that it takes place in, and the, uh, cast, like, with his crazy wife, and the... Yeah, and all that. But, uh, it is interesting, and, uh, I... There is enough here... Like a, like I said, the the premise is good. I like the characters. 
um, there is enough to uh, make me want to come back for Volume 2 just to see if that little extra something does get added. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if it sounds like your thing, you know, I, I, I'd recommend this comic. It's, it's pretty good. So, yep, yeah, see you later.